And hey, welcome into another edition of Arizona Football. Today it is the Pac-12 opener this afternoon in Cal, Berkeley, Strawberry Canyon, the Wildcats and the Golden Bears. I'm David Kelly, joined as always by Glenn Howe, UA Football Class of 1985. And Glenn, a Jed Fish, got his first win against the Bears last year here in Tucson. He got his first road win earlier this year against San Diego State. Now you got to go and get that first Pac-12 road victory. Well, those cow bears are totally different, Dave. There's like, they're they're no, healthy. No, no COVID, okay? But they're decimated at the defensive line position because they lost a lot of guys in training camp, spring ball that were starters. So I believe we can run the ball against these guys, but their inside linebackers are really tough. Traditional cow inside linebackers in the mold of Ron Rivera, Hardy Nickerson, and some of the great ones they had in the middle of, uh, of their defense. And it's going to be tough to run the ball, but I think we can run the ball against them. Yeah, my one to watch on the defensive side for Cal is their inside linebacker, number eight, Jackson Sermon. He is a coach's son. He is a another one of those power of the portal guys. Came over to California from, wa from Washington. His dad is the defensive coordinator. Uh, but I think if there's one stat that sticks out, Glenn, it's the fact that the Cal Bears have given up 12 sacks to on their quarterback, Jack Plummer, this season. Yeah, I saw that, and I was a little excited because the first time in about 10 years we had some outside rushers, but in Eccles and also our guy Jalen Harris is coming through. He is becoming what we expected him to be, and I'm excited for him to, on this game, go up against those young young tackles, redshirt freshmen, and we're ready to go. Interesting dynamic in that Jack Plummer, also another portal guy, a grad transfer from Purdue, is the older brother of Arizona's Will Plummer, who beat the Cal Bears. And in fact, Will has played his brother in practice a little bit this week now, as he has kind of rolled over to the scout team. So an interesting dynamic that you're going to see there. Obviously, big injury that came out of last week's ball game, Rayshon Speedy Luke. Looks like he's going to be out for the foreseeable future and that stinks for this offense Glenn because that one run the run he got hurt on was kind of a, a a look into the future of what we can expect from that young running back well it's unfortunate what happened to him but the next guy up I would think would be Drake Anderson and he's going to have another opportunity that's why I tell these guys I always say you never know this is the game of football there's a lot of injuries don't give up, keep working hard, and your shot will come. Well, and it also could be a situation where you get more carries for the guys that have been in the current main rotation with Michael Wiley and Jonah Coleman, uh, as well as DJ Williams as well. Talking about running backs, my one to watch for California on offense is their fine young running back, Jaden Ott. And you talk about the fact that we had all these freshmen that came in in January and were here for the spring. Same thing for him. He was a kid that came in in January. January. He's been with this program all throughout the year. He's gotten a chance to start, and he's already a two-time Pac-12 Freshman of the Week. Yeah, he's a speedy guy inside, not the biggest guy, but uh, I think that our defense is playing so well lately. I think we, but against the run, we're going to have to go up against this, these young offensive linemen and really control the line of scrimmage and not let this guy get going because they're going to try to pound the ball and then do the play action with them because they run a pro-style offense. Glenn, why is this a rivalry that's always seems to have crazy endings? I mean, we can go back oh, yeah. through the history of Cal and Arizona and find some, some, some fantastic finishes. Yeah, some of the greatest games that we've had is with, Cal, with the Cal Bears. You know, I remember when we played them, same thing. We went up there in 1983, number three in the country. We were up 27 to, 27 to 3, I think, and they came back and it was 33 to 33. So we've had some great games. Then we had the five overtime, four overtime with the Keith Smith and the guys, and they won that game. So there's plenty of games that we, we had with, uh, with the Cal Golden Bears, and that's my hometown, and I love going up there and beating the Bears because my brother played for them. <laughs> <laughs> and of recent, no, you can go back to the, the Hill Mary here yeah. in Tucson. A few years ago, Khalil Tate leading the Wildcats yeah. back to the win in overtime. Just some great games that have been played uh, between these two, two schools, California and Arizona. Arizona. Glenn, give me some other things that are going to be key for the Wildcats in this ball game. I think it's going to be uh, a lot of special teams. We're going to have to do field position on these guys. I think uh, Arsendorf is going to have to have one of his greatest games, and we're going to have great coverage on, on the uh, 
punt return because they had a good punt returner and we got to be able to play field position. We've been kind of forgetting about the special teams a little bit on the punt because we haven't really got to had to do that a lot. But this game, I think, is going to be key because the field position is going to be real important in this game. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, Ostendorp, I believe, only had two punts last week and not a lot of punts to, in the opener against San Diego State. So uh, he's not really had a chance to get into a groove, which is not a bad thing. You don't want your guy out there, the, if, if you're an improving ball club, having to punt too much. And as we mentioned in Wildcat Breakdown on Monday, it's going to be important for Tyler Loop to bounce back off his first miss. Yeah, and, and you know, like I said, these guys are preseason everything, okay? We need to have now, it's, it's game in time. Season in season everything, and now it's Pac-12. This is the, this is the, this is the nitty gritty right now. We're going into the Pac-12. We have to get this win. This is an important win for our program. Well, we don't want to jump too far ahead of it, Glenn, but it's a very interesting situation when you look at these are two games coming up that a lot of people believe the Wildcats have a chance to win. Uh, who would have thought that this team would have had a chance to start 4-1? Now, I, I'll tell you, if it wasn't me, okay? <laughs> so, but I got to say is that if we get Jaden Delora in rhythm, if we get this offense rolling, and it's another time, Jed Fish has gotten better and better. So if he's calling the plays and we're getting those guys and they're, we're, we're matching those plays with the rhythm of what Jaden Delora can do, this offense could be very, very dangerous. All right, it is the Arizona Wildcats and the California Golden Bears coming up in just a few hours. Another afternoon affair with kickoff at 2.30. For Glenn Howe, I'm David Kelly. We'll be back to break it down for you on Sunday night.